My name is Prez and I work at Thrillist. Around these parts, I'm known as the $5 lunch guy. Every episode, I'm gonna put you guys onto the very finest New York rub for $5 or less. Look, Mrs. Witch commanded. Meg dropped her arm. They seemed to be moving towards the planet. Oh, hello. Sorry, you just caught me reading a book and shooting perfect threes. Uh, let's see what our mission is today. Uh, oh, the Kanish. If you really want to dive deep into New York food history, the Kanish is as important to the city as a pizza or a bagel. Uh, brought to New York by the first wave of Jewish immigrants, it was quickly established as the quintessential cheap eat, affordable, and filling. And today, it's my perfect five buck lunch. So let's get into it. Now, you can get a knish in any one of the thousands of delis and bakeries and Jewish grocery stores all over the city. But for this episode, I figured, why not go to my neck of the woods, the unofficial food capital of New York, Queens, right? And we're gonna hit up a place called Nishnash, an old school Jewish bakery that's, uh, you know, been doing this for a while, it seems. It's five bucks somewhere, let's go. So these are the rules of Operation Five Buck Lunch. It's gotta be good, because nobody wants bad food for lunch. No big chains, because that's just too easy. It's gotta be five dollars or less. And whatever I don't use today rolls over into the next episode. The earliest I can ever remember was going to Giants games as a kid and getting a Kanish either in the parking lot or at the stadium. In terms of New York foods, how does it rank around like pizza and bagels and stuff? Uh, not quite up it's there with, with, up. with pizza and bagels, no. Right, right, it's not really considered. No, I mean, because it's not, I, I just kind of think of it as like kind of more of a side dish. Mm -hmm. Go out and try one. If, I mean, if, if you like potatoes, you know, definitely go out and try one. I like potatoes. Mm -hmm. I like the contrast of the crisp outside and the soft inside. It's like mashed potatoes in like a phyllo dough. So have you ever had a knish? Yes, those tasty, delicious pieces of potato. It's almost a bite out of heaven. If you're really, really hungry and hungover, mm. it's amazing. Do you have a favorite place to get them? Uh, there's that Nishnash, Nishnash place. That's it's, where we're going. All so that's what the same food, food is, right? Food is language you can taste. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Guys, show over. It's over. <laughs> he won the show. No more interviews. <laughs> Ready for this fun fact? Fun fact! The first ever Kanish Bakery, Jonas Schimmel's, was founded on Houston Street in 1890. That's seven years before the legendary Lombardi's Pizzeria was founded. So technically, if you think about it, Kanishes have been in the city longer than pizza. The more you know. Here we are, Nish Nash. I've been waiting for this all day. Shout out to Regal Park. Shout out to Nish Nash. I'm trying to eat this. What do you recommend that I get here? What would you suggest for me? You gotta try Kanish. I'm definitely... You can't come into Kanish Nash and I'm gonna tell you to try something else. This is really just fresh made potatoes and little seasoning. It's not fried. It's, it's all natural and it's all like, just put a little love on it. Nope, put a lot of love in it. There you go. Put some love in your food, it'll taste better. What makes Nish Nash different for you? The way the Kanish is, they're just so much better than something you would get in a supermarket in the freezer section. Like I said, they're homemade, they're baked, they're not fried, they're, they're delicious. How long has Kanish Nash been here? Kanish Nash has been here for 65 years. 65 years? Yeah, on Queens Boulevard. And we also had a place in Central Park for eight years. Really? Yeah. What is, for our audience that doesn't know, what is, what is a Kanish? A knish is uh, it's potato based. Mm. Uh, basically, we peel them, we boil them, we bake them, we mix them with some onions, and then we hand roll them in a very thin dough and bake them in the oven. What makes knish nash special? Um, I think it, it's you know we're the only ones that really use all potatoes in our in our product. We don't mix any artificial ingredients, no preservatives, nothing. Well, we all normally tell people if they take them home, if you don't eat them, freeze them because there's no preservative. And uh, it's great. You know, the, the other way to describe a knish is uh, it's like a baked potato taste good. So uh, knish nash is lots to choose from for $5. You know. I think I'm going to go with the classic. I think I'm going to oh, go the with the classic uh, potato knish. Okay. Uh, well, what's in that? Oh, the potato, it's just, just potato. Uh -huh. Basically, we peel them, we boil them, we bake them, mix them with little onions, a little bit of seasoning, and lots of love. All right, how much is that? That's uh, $4. $4? 
We'll get Here you go, good sir. Here you go, sir. And, and let me know how wonderful it is. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thanks I appreciate so much. it. Four bucks straight up, a little change back. Let's go eat. Let's get straight into this uh, knish. Ooh, it smells nice. Let's flip it. There you go. Look at this. You know what I mean? Oh. I don't know. I mean, this 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 looks great. You have, of course, you have my favorite thing. You have a little charring on the bottom. It's heavy as holy hell. This is probably about uh, maybe three or four pounds of food. Mm. Wow. Okay. Straight away, this is probably the best finish I've ever had, like ever. Of course, you get immediately the potatoes and the onions together. You know, it kind of like comes into a singular flavor. It's like a handheld mashed potato. There you go. I mean, if you look at this thing, you have a ton of potato, and you have a nice little ratio of potato to dough, of course. I'd say it's about 90-10, which is the perfect ratio for me. Sometimes you'll go get a knish somewhere where it's processed or it's fried or whatever, and it's a lot more dough because it has to go into the fryer, you know what I mean? It has to stay together. So they'll make it like square, and of course you have these weird edges, you know, it, it crunches a lot harder, but this is nice and it's soft. Because it's natural, like you can actually flake the bread off of it. That's not something you can do with every knish. This is fluffy, this is well done. It seems to be the part that carries over every time we go somewhere. It's simple ingredients done well, and that's, that's really all you need when you're eating in New York for five bucks, come on. Mm, it's fantastic. This feels like an old school mom and pop. They, they look like they really know what they're doing. Of course, you know, if, they, if it's in the name, clearly they do, right? This is the saddest part of every episode. Mm. Wow. That was a handheld, hearty meal. And I am fully prepped to get back out into that cold. See you outside. Today's mission was Kanish, which for the first time brought us out to the best borough in New York, Queens. If you got a problem, at me, son. Now, coming to Kanish and Ash and having the most amazing Kanish I've ever had in my life, uh, I feel great. I feel like I could just be, I feel comfortable, you know? I feel like I could just lay out on the street, take a nap, maybe. Our mission was an absolute success. Uh, it's in our budget, it's not a big chain, and it was damn good. Now, I gotta go. It's cold, it's brick. I'll see you later. Peace. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my show, Operation Five Bug Lunch. It's your boy Perez. If you have a suggestion of where we should go next time, leave it in the comments below. Also, who's the best female rapper in the game? Uh, for me, it's Cardi B. Anyways, um, you know, I'll see you guys next time. Comment, like, follow, subscribe. Bye.